Photo booths are a fun, interactive activity that will provide guests at your next party with a lasting memory of the event. Here's how to create your own photo booth. You can use half inch wide PVC pipe and fittings to create the booth. You'll need 11 pieces of PVC pipe total, four at six and a half feet to create the height, two cut to seven feet long for the width, and four cut to three and a half feet wide to brace the sides. To assemble, you'll also need eight elbow fittings to connect the pieces. Work your way around until you've created a cube. This will ensure enough height and width for tall guests and group pictures. The structure should be stable on its own, but if you're concerned about wind or just want to be extra sure, lay plastic bags filled with something heavy across the bottom pipes to stabilize them. Using rolls of paper, cut strips that are 5 inches wide and long enough to attach to the top of the frame and hit the ground. Fold each strip of paper according in style, then tape each strip to the top of the frame, layering them to create a wall of color. Add some neutral colors at the bottom to completely cover the frame and create some depth. Then use simple white muslin fabric to drape the booth's side walls. White works great for the sides because it diffuses the light and will help make the photos look great. The best part of a photo booth are the props. They're an excellent way to encourage guests to let loose and be silly. Plus, if you have a themed party, your props can help infuse that look and feel directly into the photos. Make sure the props are set up close by on a table. When choosing props, think of how easy they are to hold and how well they'll photograph. And choose props that fit your theme. Cardboard cutouts painted with chalkboard paint let guests write their own messages and can be reused again and again. Finding the perfect spot for your photo booth is key. The general rule, if space allows, is to place the photo booth near the entrance, but not in the way. This ensures that guests see the booth when they arrive and gives them a great conversation starter right off the bat. Once you have everything assembled, the last step is setting up the camera. A tripod is definitely the best way to go to ensure that the pictures don't come out blurry. Place the tripod and camera eight feet in front of the backdrop. Lighting is also key to taking great pictures. Soft boxes are the easiest to set up and they offer the most flattering form of light. They can be rented at a daily rate from local photography supply stores. Once everything is set up, test the lighting out on a few friends with and without the flash, making sure that no one looks blown out. Keep testing until your friends look well-focused and evenly lit. Then leave the camera set for the party on auto timer. So all guests have to do is hit the button, pose, and have fun. After the party, upload all of the images to a photo sharing site and send guests the link. This is definitely the quickest and most efficient way to show your guests their pictures, and it allows guests to choose which ones they like best. The last tip is to consider sending guests prints of the photos as thank you gifts after your event. No matter what your next party theme might be, consider creating a completely original photo booth, complete with a stylistic backdrop, handmade props, and anything else that helps create a happy memory for your event.